Hi, welcome to my channel. <laughs> I'm Mary Richardson, and I am a psychic medium. I am so glad you're here. If you're here for the first time, welcome. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me. I appreciate you. I'm grateful to you, and I'm thankful to you for dropping by. If you're here for the second or third or more time, thank you so much. No matter why you're here, I want to welcome you, and you're supposed to be here, or else you wouldn't be here. So um, thank you. I'm a psychic medium. I channel for people. I um, talk to spirit constantly. And one thing that led to the uh, this channel, well, the only thing that led to this channel, well, not the only probably, but the main reason is because spirit said, if you do this and you bring people a message of abundance, that would be a step forward for everybody. So that's what I'm doing. Um, this is, so think of this as your abundance channel. Um, I will channel spirit in a minute, but today's lesson is like three parts. First part is your daily abundance message from spirit, which I will channel. And the second one is abundance challenge day seven. What is the abundance challenge? Well, even if you haven't started when we started, that's okay. You can start today. We are doing 30 days of spending one minute every day in the morning. Spirit always presents a picture of me sitting at the kitchen table in the morning, drinking uh, coffee or tea, whatever you drink in the morning, whether it's coffee, tea, or a soda or whatever, uh, do it in the morning. Spend one minute close your eyes, not while driving, and just imagine your dream life. When you're imagining your dream life for this minute, focus on the activities that you are doing and how you are feeling when you're doing the activities. So that's it. That's a 30-day challenge, one minute a day for 30 days, and then write down each day, the activity that you saw yourself doing in your dream life or activities and how, it, how you felt doing it. So I'll share mine for today. Um, my dream life is, in the last six days, I thought the first day I had so many different dream lives, it was crazy. <laughs> So I think Spirit's having us do this, so or me do this, so I realized that my mind's all over the place. One minute I want this, the next minute I want something else, the next minute a different dream life, and of course our dream life is gonna, going to evolve, of course it will, but I think what something I learned is that what are the core components in my dream life? I think that's what I needed to learn, and that's what I am learning. So every day after the first day, I've been kind of focusing slightly more on what it is I want in my dream life. Um, the, and I'll be honest, the first few days, it was kind of like, like a list of like material things, right? But then it was like kind of evolved and changed into, okay, once I have all that, what is the dream life? you know? And so today's one minute, um, focusing on a dream life, my dream life. I imagine I'm in my dream house. I'm hanging my coat in the closet. I just got the keys to my dream house. I'm walking in. The dogs are outside in their huge backyard, romping, playing, and they're so happy. And I'm inside and I'm jumping up and down going, yes, we did it. We did it. We did it. I'm talking to my spirit guides. Um, I'm talking to spirit. That's who I refer to as the archangels, my guides, my brother that has passed on, who is constantly guiding me and talking to me and interacting with me and leading me forward onto my path, in my path. And so in my dream life, I've just hung up my coat in the closet in my dream house, and I'm jumping up and down to yelling with spirit going, we did it, we did it, we did it. And I'm just, I wrote down my feelings and my, at that moment, and my feelings were excitement, overjoyed, just thrilled and just grateful and thankful. And then something new came into my 
one minute this morning, something new came into my mind. And that was that after that excitement, my dream life is really to be channeling spirit for you. That's my dream life. To have all that and then to have the privilege of bringing your, uh, those that have passed on to help you heal, bringing their message to you to help you heal in any way that you need to heal. And I imagined that what a perfect life that would be. Now, some people say perfect doesn't exist, but in my heart, that felt so right to be able to channel for you, for anyone, for just to bring your, um, I see, let me back up. I see, feel, and hear those that have passed on, my guides, the archangels, um, my brother that has passed on, and I'm constantly interacting with the spirit world, and I can bring messages forward to you. Whatever, you know, um, whoever needs to come through is, is going to present themselves and the message. And so think of me, um, I am a psychic medium. You, don't be afraid of those words. Think of them as a, a clear channel to beyond, a clear channel to the spirit world, a translator, if you want to break it down even simpler, a translator. Um, and we all have this ability. We're just at different levels. And some of us hear in different ways. For instance, I hear them, I see them, and I feel them. So I feel... Um, often their emotions and often I'll get, I'll start crying as, as they're giving me information and, and things to pass on. One, because I'm so grateful for the opportunity and the, 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 um, I guess, challenge the, to be your channel. Um, I'm so grateful for that. Um, it, it is a dream come true and maybe I'm already living that dream life or a part of it. Maybe that's the lesson with this abundance challenge, but in any, of, any event, I wanted you to know that um, I do psychic readings, um, past life regression through hypnosis. My rates are very straightforward. I charge $50 up to $175 um, for a group uh, rate. And so it's real straightforward, easy, simple. Book a reading with me. Um, readings usually last about 45 minutes. And um, you know, I feel like this is my gift and I want to share it with you. So that's why it doesn't matter. You know, uh, most people can afford $50, even if you have to save it up, but don't take it out of your grocery money. Don't take it out of your food money, out of your gas money. You know, don't do that. I never recommend that because you all have access to your guides as well. So you can reach out anytime to your own guides and ask them questions and they will make uh, the answer known to you in a way you can understand. So um, people usually will seek out a psychic or a medium to um, as a conduit to the other side where you can get rapid fire information. So that's what I'm here for. And um, I'm so grateful for YouTube for having this opportunity for me to present this to you like this. This is such a privilege and an honor, really. Um, so we covered the Abundance Day Challenge, day seven. So you can start today. You can do it today, one minute every day for 30 days. Close your eyes. Imagine your dream life. Write down the activities that you're doing in your dream life. Write down the feelings that you're feeling in your dream life. So that's the abundance challenge. <laughs> so if you hear me pause, it's only because I'm listening to spirit and I'm a little, a little bit hesitant and spirit saying, without further ado, let's chat, let's uh, channel spirit. So that's what I'm going to do. So spirit's just going to bring the message forward as they tell me, I tell you. Um, sometimes they float messages across my mind's eye. Sometimes they're pictures or they're words. Um, this spirit is saying, give them an, an example, tell them about the plane example. All right. So the plane example is we all have an, a, a mind's eye. The mind's eye is your imagination, right? The mind's eye is, you can call it different things. It's more than imagination for me. Cause I'm not 
like, like I'm not, how do you say imagination? I feel like that's like something else, but my mind's eye is a way that they can communicate with me. Uh, spirit world can. So um, sometimes it's like, if you ever see a plane in the sky and the plane is dragging a, like a sign behind them, you know, it's real long. Like you're at a football game and you look up and there's a plane in the sky and it's dragging a message along. Well, sometimes spirit will in my mind's eye, they show me like a plane and it's dragging the message <laughs> along. And so, <laughs> they're hilarious by the way. And, um, Sometimes they'll just forget the plane and they'll just wave this message across my mind's eye, which is hilarious. Anyway, <laughs> so, um, so uh, that's one way that they communicate with me. I also hear them and see them and feel them. Um, and usually, usually, uh oh, something just fell, but that's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Scared my dog. You okay, honey? Okay. You're okay. Yes, you're sleeping. You're okay. He was sleeping. Poor guy. You're okay. All right. All right. So sorry. Um, so that's how spirit communicates with me. Um, so be open to spirit communicating with you. Why not? So today's message, without further ado, regarding abundance. So I'm just going to So spirit, I'm just talking to spirit and I'm asking them to bring a message forward that's in everyone's highest and greatest good regarding abundance and something that we most need to hear. They're saying there's so many things. They're saying there's lots. <laughs> and they're saying that there's lots that they wanna bring forward, but they're saying the most important thing is to believe in them because they believe in us. They're saying that uh, when you go to do something and that you're not sure about, you're not sure whether or not you can do it, you don't have to be sure about it, know that you don't have to be sure about it, but believe in spirit because they believe in you. So for instance, if I'm having to do something and I'm, I don't know, maybe on stage or at a conference or seminar or, you know, getting in front of a group of people and maybe, well, that wouldn't scare me. I'd actually like that, but uh, let's say something else like maybe, um, um, I don't know, uh, running a mile really, really fast. Okay. Like maybe I'd be like, Oh, how fast can I do it? I don't know. Am I going to make it? I don't know. <laughs> you know, so spirit would remind me at that time, they would say, you don't have to believe that you can do it, but know that we believe in you believe in us because we believe in you. And so they're also telling me to read something to you. Um, I was, I forget what activity I was doing right now or doing when I heard this message, but um, Spirit said, I'm just, I have it posted and I'm just reading it really quickly. Um, so they said, Spirit said to me, you've got this because we've got you. And they said, you can move forward now. So I'm sharing that with you because it was huge when I heard it. It was huge. I was, I don't, like I said, I don't even remember what I was afraid of or, or uh, facing and I, I was unsure. And, um, and if I remembered, I'd share it with you, but I just don't remember what the activity was. But Spirit said, you've got this because we've got you. You can move forward now. And I was just like, oh my gosh, 
I so needed to hear that because it's a form of support. It's a form of belief in, in um, that they're here to help all of us, um, to help all of us in all our endeavors and, and do things that stretch us a little bit or a lot. Um, keep in mind, spirit will only guide us to what is loving and kind. They are all about being kind. So let me bring you more message from spirit. Okay, so they're saying jump out of the past and into the present. And they're showing me like, um, okay, so they're showing me a picture of, have you ever seen any someone do a long jump, like in the Olympics, where they run and they jump essentially over sand or into sand, they jump and they plant their feet. And they're saying jump into the present. And they're saying remain there. Keep your feelings, your emotions, your thoughts in the present moment. That is where everything, that is where only everything is happening. That is all of time, is the present. Oh, and then they're showing me a picture. They said, you are, you are, this is for everyone. They're saying you are dragging your past behind you. And they're showing a track runner, um, like in the Olympics, a track runner, but he has this, like this um, cord and it's attached to all his, all his emotional baggage. And he's like one step, one step. And he's like dragging all his emotional baggage forward. And so spirit is, that's their message to me about, um, we're trying to drag the past into the present. And they're saying, release, let go. And you feel, they're saying, and you will feel a freedom like you've never felt before, a joy, a release, a happiness in letting go. Let us help you let go of what burdens you, of what burdens you have. It is so simple to connect to us. You have to just simply ask and we are there. Ask us to release you from your bonds. And we will. And then they're saying in transmission, that is all. So sometimes um, it's uh, spirit is all about love and kindness. And I believe that message was just, I just connected with Jesus, which I have done before on this channel. And um, you all have the opportunity and the ability to do the same thing. Um, so don't think that, you know, oh my gosh, you know, she talks to Jesus. Well, so do you. <laughs> we all do. You know, God help us. But please help me, God. Jesus, you know, you're in, in a car wreck and you're like, oh, somebody help me. You're reaching out. You're asking. So who I felt, the energy I just felt was Jesus. And he just was um, like, you want to go on? And I was like, yeah, I want to go on. And because his energy is really like, and I feel like he pulled, like, like he's all love. Like, like a, a sandwich hug of love. A sandwich hug of love. That's what it felt like. And it was just like, but not on the outside. It like permeates inside, around you, through you. And it's just pure love. And that's why I was like, um, tearing up because it is it's a whole lot to experience and um it's just uh i never ever get tired of feeling him 
and you can do the same thing. If you would like more messages, more custom messages for you, please don't hesitate to write a comment, send me an email. Everything is in the description box below. Um, book a reading with me. As I said, $50 for 45 minutes. If you want a group reading, 70, 175. Um, and I want to make it affordable so that every single person that wants a, inf wants a message, wants to, inf you know, to connect with their, their loved ones, that uh, they have an opportunity to do that through me. So I'm here for you. Um, it's really, uh, I'm, I have this on my phone. Let me share this with you before I, before I go, but I have this on my phone and it's my screensaver. And it just says, I don't know if you can see that thankful and grateful. Let me turn it this way. Oh, can you see it? Oh, where'd it go? It won't, it won't rotate. It says thankful and grateful. And that's me for you. I think that you are honestly my dream life to be able to do this for you. So I'm thankful and grateful for everybody that comes by this channel just because um, I feel like this is what I'm meant to do. And um, reach out to me because I care so much about you. I always think about my audience and who they potentially could be or would be or are. And I don't even look at the subscribers anymore because you know whether it's one person or a gazillion, it doesn't matter to me because you all matter to me. Um, and I'm just thankful and grateful for everybody stopping by. And please click the like button and the subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell button because I do upload new videos every day. Yeah, I got I got sidetracked yesterday. I didn't make a video. I'm human. Sometimes I lose my focus. Um, but um, you are always in my thoughts. Like, like um, I'm always thinking about what I can do as a... Um, to serve as a service to you and to um, make somebody's journey easier. Because honestly, if I could make your journey easier in some way, that's what I want to do. I'm a healer. Um, that's That goes hand in hand with being a psychic medium because we don't just deliver the information and get out. It's all about bringing you love and kindness from above, from beyond from the spirit world, because um, I think that's something that we're all made of love from love and from, we all came from source, whether you believe that's God or Buddha or whatever source you call it, um, whatever name you put on it, it's all about love. And um, please come back and check out my new videos, write comments. I intended actually to do a tarot reading today, um, but check the next video. I will, oh, Spirit's like, do it now. <laughs> okay, all right. So I'm gonna do it now. This is gonna be a long video, but that's okay. So in doing a tarot reading, these tarot cards are um, Colette Baron Reed, The Enchanted Map. That's the tarot card. And how I work is I use, how I do this is I usually, um, We'll shuffle the deck and several, oh, that was fast. Okay, so I usually set an intention. So my intention is that I pull cards, two cards that are in the highest and greatest good for those watching, and that will help them live more abundantly. And in my highest and greatest good as well uh, for everybody. And then I will shuffle the deck and then as the cards make themselves known. Okay, and they're saying the two top cards, those are your cards. All right, so these cards are follow the leader and deep freeze. Follow, oh, hang on. Follow the leader and deep freeze. Okay, so those are the cards. So what that means, if, you know, if you're new to tarot, um, how I work as a psychic medium, is I will look at the cards and I also do consult the book because the book has a description. But what I do is as I'm reading the description, several words will like be raised in the passage that I'm reading. And I know those are the words that I need to tell you. So that's how spirit works through me is that they will pop out the words 
And I know, oh, okay, that's what they most need to hear. So let's check this out. We're going to do, they're saying, do, the spirit is telling me, do deep freeze first. Deep freeze. All right, so deep freeze. Let's check that out. And tarot cards are not always literal. So it doesn't always mean, by the way, spirit will never tell you anything that is harmful or negative. Um, if it's slightly, slightly less than positive, it's usually something you needed to hear or something to prevent something from happening. So it's never anything but out of love, out of love. All right, 26. Let's check this out. Bear with me as I find the words that are going to pop out for this particular card, which is deep phrase. So let's see. All righty. All right. Okay. So Spirit is telling me the message is just what is in the book here that um, now is the time to put activity on hold while you rest. Now is the time to put activity on hold while you rest. Everything has its season. So you can ter interpret that in your own way, what that means to you. That's the message for that card. Spirit is saying, go on to the other card. The, the other card is follow the leader. Follow the leader. All right. Again, as I look in the book that came with the cards, spirit makes known to me, they pop out words that I need to deliver to you. That's how it works for me. So they're saying the message is you're being called to lead others by example. They're saying that's all, close the book. <laughs> okay, you're being called to lead others by example. I don't know why my glasses are crooked. It drives me crazy. So I get it. <laughs> but the message for the card, follow the leader, is you are... Forgot the message. It happens, I'm human. You are called to lead others by example. And their spirit is underlining by example, by example. So if you don't know what that means, um, it means words are cheap. Let people see you do. So words, they're saying essentially, um, Let's show, they're saying, lead people by example. When people see you doing, oh, okay, so spirit's like, they get it. Okay, okay. All right. So spirit is saying, that's all in transmission. So that's their way of saying we're done. Um, I am so grateful for you watching. Uh, have a wonderful um, day. And don't forget that in case you haven't watched my other videos, I have found when I watch other videos, when I watch them a second time, even a minute later or an hour later or the next day or the next couple days, I get a completely different message. And that's how spirit works. They make known to us different parts of the message each time we watch. So you can watch the same message and go, I never heard that the first time, but there it is. That's how spirit works. That's the magic of, of the spirit world. So they will make known to us what we most need to hear at that time. So if you're like, I've seen that video, watch it again. You'll hear something different. Um, usually, I mean, I, obviously I'm not making promises, but I'm like, usually that's how it has worked for me is, um, <clears throat> my goodness, I just messed up my hair. Um, that's how it usually works for me in spirits like, and it works for everybody. Okay. So spirit just said it works for everybody. You'll hear a different message at a different time, depending on what spirit needs you to hear. And it use this as a form of support. That's how they can speak to you and be supportive to you of what you're trying to do for what you're trying to do. 
All right, take care, be kind, be thankful. And I am so grateful and thankful for you. Um, and be kind. Goodbye for today. Oh, and click the bell button so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video.